guys so I'm back I'm just coming back to show you all how I not show you all but tell you all how I achieved this beautiful color you see it's like you can see more than one tint so yeah that's what I'm here to tell you all about my beautiful hair and the hair can be purchased from grandpa's hair www.grandpashair.com that's where you can purchase this beautiful hair and then it's still healthy even when it's being colored and i flat ironed it of course but first let me tell you all so this is what's been going on with me so i've been waiting to fume and i also made a wig for a client that i wanted to fume which i did on my camera but i don't think it's a good video because i ordered a piece to go to my camera like i have my tripod but i'm missing the middle piece to connect my camera to it so i can be able to put it on there and move it the way i want to move so that's what's holding me up from making videos and i'm like so upset about it because i've been ordered the piece about like two weeks or so now and when i went to the post office it's not there but when i track it it says it is there so now i have to do a claim through paypal to find out what's going on with my peace because this is holding me up from making my video like now that i'm really serious and like really ready something happened so now that's holding me back so basically i made the video making the unit showing you how i made the unit but like i said i don't think it's very a very good video because i can't put my camera up to be able to face it downwards so you can see as I'm stitching in the hair but you can kind of get the concept of what I'm doing on how I'm making the unit so I may still just post that video just to show you all and then just make another video showing it and it looks better and once my piece come in I don't know it's so ag y'all I'm telling y'all like I've been wanting to fume for like so long I've been saying okay I'm gonna start my YouTube I'm gonna start my YouTube I'm I never started my YouTube. Finally, I got my light. I got my camera. Well, I've been having my camera. I had my tripod. I ordered the piece. Like, I'm really dead serious about doing it now. And, you know, that's how things go. But eventually, I'll get my piece. And then I'll start making more videos. But I just wanted to come and just make this video. See, if I had my piece for my camera, I can I could have been able to film as I'm doing my unit to actually show you in motion of how I color my hair but since I don't I have to just basically tell you all how I achieved this beautiful color so this is a unit this is a lace front unit and the way that I achieved this color is I bleached it and when I bleached it I bleached it with two different type of bleaches so I use I mix this bleach from slight and this is like a bleach that kind of like pulls all of that brassiness that comes when you like just bleach it regular this kind of pulls that out so I use this but I also did use BW2 and I mixed it in two different containers with 30 volume developer for both of them and so as I was applying the bleach i just like use some of the bw2 in some spots and some of the primsome light in the other spot or whatever and it kind of just all mix and match so that's how you kind of can see like it's kind of lighter right here kind of darker kind of lighter because to me this primsome light it doesn't lift as high which it does only says that it lifts to a uh, four level so this doesn't lift as high as i wanted it but i still wanted to kind of get some of this color in as well without the brassiness and so then i said well let me go ahead and use the bw2 as well because if i wouldn't have used this it would have been darker than this it probably would have only been like the darker shades that you see in this hair and i actually wanted some lighter shades so it worked out perfectly how i wanted it so yeah that's what i did i mixed this with some with the 30 volume developer and i also mixed this with the 30 volume developer i didn't part in no different type of way like this is this this is that no i just like comb the hair out bleach some right here take the other one bleach some right there mixed it up like it wasn't in no specific order for the color i just wanted i just know i wanted it all mixed in so after i did that i let that sit on for about 
30 minutes or so and I wrap, I put it in a plastic bag and tied it up because I wanted the color to like penetrate into the hair and if the color dries out then it will stop coloring. So that's why I tied it up in a bag so it can stay moist to keep on coloring for as long as I wanted it to color. So once I seen that the color was the one that I wanted, I went ahead and I washed the hair out. When I washed the hair out, I didn't wash it out with anything. I just used water only. And the reason why I only used water and I didn't use shampoo or conditioner or anything because I wanted to go back over the hair with a toner. So how, So you see how like... <laughs> you see how the hair look? It doesn't have... It doesn't look like brassy and all rough and like you know the color doesn't look really it doesn't look bad at all it looks really good so i went back over it after i completely washed it and like towel dried it or like try to pull as much water out of the hair as i could but i still wanted it to be damp so then i went in with a wella color charm it's a t35 it's the beige blind so i went back in with this and i mixed uh, I think it said one part of this with two part of 20 volume developer. Uh, I don't have the 20 volume developer with me right now. But it's a Twella 20 volume developer to go along with this tone. I mixed that up and then I put that all over the hair and then I put it back in the bag for another 30 minutes. And then once that 30 minutes was up, I came back and then I washed it out. When I washed it out, I used... The shimmer lights because the shimmer lights also helps to pull that brassiness out of your hair. So on top of the toner that I use to take out the brassiness, I washed it with the shimmer lights so it can kind of both help and make it really, really like beautiful and yes. So that's what I done. And then after that, after I washed it out, then I just went back in and I just conditioned it with just like some conditioner that I have. Not no specific type of conditioner. It's just some, I think it was by Tresemme. So I just went in, got me some conditioner, and I just conditioned it. And once I conditioned it, I let it dry. Now, I'm lying. I applied it because I was like, I want to do my hair. I want to change my hair up. I want something different. So instead of me being patient and letting it dry before putting it on, I was like, you know what? I'm putting this wig on, baby, because I'm going to be cute tomorrow. So yeah. So I put the wig on while I was wet. And then I blow dried it because it was like damp or whatever so i blow dried it and then after i blow dried my hair and then i applied some um caracal oil i used some caracal oil to put on my hair so i could have like that silky softness going on or whatever and then after i did that i went back over it and i flat ironed it because i wanted it to be straight so i went back and i flat ironed my hair and then i wrapped it and then but I don't really care for how it was wrapped because this is like a middle part and then, you know, I have it like sleek straight like this. When I wrapped it, I just slid this side over, then connected it over. And when I took it down in the morning, this side was like all bulky from like, you know, turning it that way. So it was all bulky and it wasn't still straight and it had like little crumps in it and stuff because I had to use bobby pins because the hair just would not stay by itself. So I was like, ew, I don't like that. That didn't work for me. So, um, yeah, I had to go over and flat iron it again. But it was no problem for me. And then it just bounced back. And, of course, this is a frontal, you all, that I have installed in my head. Uh, I want to come and make a video showing you how I install my frontals as well. But y'all know. Y'all know what's wrong. Y'all know why. So, as soon as I get my piece, I'm going to be on and popping ton with these videos so when I had put on my uh lace frontal I took my stocking cap and I put that on my head and I used um some got to be glue spray or whatever so it got hard and then I like cut the excess off and so it could kind of like blend to my like skin and then I didn't use lace glue I used tape so with me um putting the cap on and drying it to my hair that's going to protect my edges so that means that with the tape sitting on my head it will not pull out my hair when i get ready to take it off because if you ever dealt with lace tape 
that tape is deadly you will be bold so I had to protect my edges you know because I want my edges after I finish wearing my wig so that's what I did but I'm gonna come back and make a video showing you all how I actually did it like in motion so you all can see and so you can go and try it yourself so yep this is me and that's all i was coming to tell you all i don't want to take too long before i make another video so the way i'm making my videos right now if you are wondering like well how is she making videos now if she don't have her piece i have my phone i bought a little small tripod to go with my phone and i'm hooking that up and i'm going with it until my camera come because i ain't letting nothing stop me devil you ain't winning this time okay so yep that's all y'all bye enjoy y'all day